Time now for the morning rush. And we start with Kristen Curry. Next big weather maker moves in tonight, so we will see increasing rain and snow coverage as we're going to bed later on tonight across southern Colorado, northern mountains, and everyone near that western state line filling in overnight into tomorrow morning. That cold front really starting to juice up those snow showers through the early part of tomorrow, and these showers will continue to push across the state late Tuesday and clear out by Wednesday. Crystal? This is not a joke. Moonlight is one best picture. Moonlight. Best picture. Yeah, this morning a lot of people are still talking about that big blunder during Hollywood's biggest night at the Oscars. Presenters read the wrong card, announcing La La Land as best picture. Turns out it was actually Moonlight that won. This morning, Oscars accounting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers is apologizing for the error and say they are launching an investigation to find out what happened. Also happening today, President Trump is expected to meet with the nation's governors at the White House a day ahead of his first address to Congress. At the governor's dinner Sunday night, the president said he does plan to offer details on Tuesday on how much he would overhaul Obamacare. Also, President Trump's pick for Secretary of the Navy, Philip Bilden, no longer in consideration for the position this morning after withdrawing his name. On to news here at home, the man accused of abducting a teen girl Saturday could face a judge as early as today. The deputy say 21 year old Christian Orozco broke into a home in Panasco that's near Taos, held the girl's grandparents at gunpoint, then took off with 15 year old Angelica Valdez. Deputies say she was in an abusive relationship with Orozco. They do not believe she went willingly. Hours after an Amber Alert was issued, she was found safe in Española. Orozco was arrested. Police are actively investigating what happened before a crash at an Albuquerque 7-Eleven gas pump causing an explosion. Take a look at you can see the damage here left behind at San Mateo and Catherine. Last night, the SUV rammed into the pump head on, crushing the hood and blowing out its windows. As of this morning, no arrests have been made. As you head out to work, you might be surprised to find out how much money one study says Albuquerque drivers are spending by just sitting in traffic. According to research group INREX, idling in traffic costs the average Albuquerque driver more than $640 every year. That's nearly $190 million citywide. At the top of the list, Los Angeles, where the average driver spends more than $2,000 yearly. We're waiting to learn more details from state police about a crash on I-25 that left a woman dead and two others badly hurt. Police say 18-year-old Luke Griffin was driving south on the interstate in Sandoval County Friday night when he rear-ended a car, killing 49-year-old Karina Vaden. Her two passengers were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Los Alamos Public Schools says they will do away with its national school lunch program next year. According to the Los Alamos Monitor, they say the program does not offer large enough portions or variety. The federally funded program offers free and reduced lunch to students who qualify. Officials say they will have the funding necessary to meet the needs of students who require this need. The NAACP is taking a stand against North Carolina's conservative policies, urging large athletic events and musicians to avoid the state. The organization says it's the first step of a national boycott. They're upset over what they see as unfairly drawn voting districts and a state law limiting LGBT protections. Metro threat index up to a four today. We do have stronger winds expected this afternoon out of the southwest, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Also some cooler temperatures to start currently down below freezing at the hour. High temperatures in the 50s this afternoon, but do expect this metro threat index to climb as we see the return of rain here in the metro area tomorrow. Crystal? On to some recall news for you. Trader Joe's is recalling three kinds of its unsweetened applesauce. The company says the applesauce may contain glass pieces and has best before dates in August, October, and December 2018. Trader Joe's will issue a full refund to customers returning the applesauce to the store. On to facts you need to know, most women under 45 with kids at home are not getting as much sleep as they need. That's according to a nationwide survey tracking more than 5,000 people that found only 48% of women with children were getting at least seven hours of sleep each night. Having children in the house was apparently not linked to how long men slept in the study. And one line of lipsticks is making a big mark on awards shows, and it was created right here in Albuquerque. It's called Blush and Whimsy, and it was created by Michaela Brown. Brown says execs from the Oscars wanted to include it in their swag bags for this year's show, but with high demand, Brown wasn't able to get it produced on time. No worries, she says, because she was invited to have it in next year's Oscar gift bags. We'll have more on who else will be featuring the lipsticks coming up in the five facts. Kristen? Time now for a check on your Monday morning commute. Nothing major out there. We're looking pretty good on both interstates. Surface streets also moving at posted speeds. We'll let you know if that changes.
This morning, fans are grieving over the death of actor Bill Paxton. This weekend, his family announced Paxton died from surgery complications. He was known for roles in block, blockbuster classics like Twister, Titanic, and Apollo 13. He also had a long list of small screen credits like HBO's Big Love. Most recently, he was promoting his new CBS series, Training Day. All right, time now for the five facts. Let's start with number five. As David just mentioned, a New Mexico-based makeup company is getting ready to fill a huge Hollywood order for next year's Oscars, but that's not the only attention Blush and Whimsy is getting. The Albuquerque-based company is also invited to the Grammys, Emmys, and American Music Awards. How cool is that? <laughs> Big list Congrats. right there. Yeah. Number four, New Mexico's attorney general is warning this morning about another scheme taking aim at seniors. AG Hector Balderas says schemers are calling seniors from phone numbers in Ontario, Canada, and Maryland, claiming their grandchildren or grandchild is in jail in a foreign country, often the Bahamas. The caller urges the person to call another number and post bail with a prepaid debit card. Officials say don't do it. Don't send the money. Instead, call the AG's office. At number three, breezy to windy across the state today. Showers built in later on tonight, starting over the north and west. Temperatures, although warmer today, will be cooler in the next coming days. Stronger wind and more rain and snow expected tomorrow. Today, APS board members could decide to add another charter school to the district. La Resolana Leadership Academy has faced some tough financial times. Back in December, the school was in a $200,000 deficit and on the verge of closing its doors. Now it's asking to come under the wing of APS. On to number one now. Today, President Trump set to welcome health insurance execs and the nation's governors to the White House. The Affordable Health Care Act, or Obamacare, is expected to be at the top of the agenda. Trump has promised to unveil a plan to repeal and replace Obamacare with more affordable coverage. However, he has not given specifics about this. In January, 51,000 more New Mexicans enrolled, and that adds to the list of New Mexicans currently on the plan.